would be very bad if I got him. Please don't find me where I live. He lives at 222 yourself lane. <laughs> Yo, check it out. Welcome back. Welcome back to the stack. Welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Calvin Trigger, also known as Trigger, Trigger on the stack, and I'm gonna throw up, but I'm doing my best to have energy right now. I don't know why I'm gonna throw up, probably because of the fact that I had two monsters, four donuts, and nothing else to eat today. Child. And it's 7 p.m. We're gonna play Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering is a magic game with card games, which is really old. And if you look at this, we're playing four commanders right now. That what that one's red black, that one's red black, that one has black, and that one has red. We're kind of all the colors of the rainbow, but mostly red black. Iden, are you happy? Yes. Good for you. In fact, because it's so good for you, talk to me. Uh dude, I'm playing Judith, uh Carnage Connoisseur. I'm looking to be a spell slinger deck uh, so I can keep making two twos and uh, we're gonna abuse the fact that our spells can gain death touch and lifelink so we're gonna do shenanigans like Wheel of Misfortune and Blasphemous Act and gain a bunch of life and draw a bunch of cards. And we also combo with uh, Haze of Rage. Surprise. Holy shit, you're a combo deck with Haze of Rage? Yeah. I fucking hate you. I know. <laughs> uh, speaking of red black does a does a combo and makes me fucking furious. Uh, talk to me, Tom. How are you? What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing Prosper. I'm just gonna pull straw and make to make treasure. Yeah, nothing nothing nefarious. Here. Nothing nefarious. This is fair Prosper. It's all Prosper say. So. Yo, the last time someone told me, I swear this is the fair deck. This is no, he legitimately does not have Adnos in the deck. Okay. Neither do I. I. Neither do I. Neither do I. You could have it though. No, I could don't. No, what no. do you have? What I what do I have? I have Narcy Fable Singer. She cares about sagas and enchantments. When you sacrifice an enchantment, you draw a card. When the last chapter of the saga triggers, you drain the board for its CMC and you gain life. Check it out. All that's dumb and stupid. I'm a primal surge deck. I have exactly one non-land in the deck. Or no, one yeah, one non-creature non-land in the deck. One spell. And that's primal surge. The rest are all permanents. So the goal is to get to 10 mana and cast Primal Surge. And then that'll win me the game. Probably. No, pro it will. It just will. It just does it. Mm. You promise? Well, I mean, okay. Barring interaction, yes. What interaction? I'm ready to die. <sighs> but like, you're gonna need a lot of interaction. What do you do? Oh, hi, hey guys. My, I'm playing a Planeswalker in the Command Zone. That's it. <laughs> it's the Planeswalker deck. It's Jess guy. We're not doing Marty right now, but we're still doing white and we're still doing red. We're gonna put Planeswalkers into play and we're gonna try and win that way. Uh, technically we make creature tokens, technically we draw cards and deal damage off of Guff, but really the important part of the deck is like, congratulations, Calvin Trigger, you're the blue player. Try to stop everyone else from having fun with your counter magic. Right, right. All of that. Walkers. I mean, for what it's worth, I'm gonna cast Primal Surge, and then you're gonna let everything go off, and you're gonna be like, "Time stop!" And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna cry. Primal, Primal Surge puts everything from your deck onto the field. Reveal the top card. It's a permanent play. Repeat this process. Mm. It's a Do you permanent. play Containment Priest? <laughs> no. Well, we're we're dead. <laughs> oh well, no, it's okay because like <laughs> I'm gonna go first, so he goes last. Three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> Trigger. We're gonna be live over on what? The stack will be selling some odds and ends of ours, such as single, steel product, and our own personal token. Using the link below will help you catch us live, and if you're new to Whatnot, doing so will get you $15 towards your first Whatnot purchase. So what are you waiting for? Download the app, hit that follow button, and we'll see you soon. All right, start us off. Uh, all right, untap, upkeep, magic cardo. Here is a Temple of Triumph. Enter the battlefield tap. Scry. I am going to scry one, and I am going to... Man, I really want that. Mm. I guess I'm keeping it on top. Go. Wow, All 15 right, second turn, not bad. You <laughs> No, Rickler! I'm gonna play a theater and surveil a uh, graveyard. Go. Uh, draw. I'm gonna Just play, play this mountain and pass. Okay, up tap and the thing. One, go. Um, here's the coil, let's go. Draw! Island! Borrow signet. Did you time that? No. Go. Untap. Draw. Uh, we're going to play a command tower. Tap two, and we're gonna play Rakdos signet. Go. Draw. I'm gonna play the swamp. I'm gonna play the mindstone. All right. Pass. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna play this fortified village. I'm gonna reveal this forest, and then I'm gonna tap these two to play. Not that. Not that. Sylvan library. The fuck. All right. Go ahead. I'm gonna untap, I'm gonna upkeep, I'm gonna draw step, I'm gonna play Temple of Enlightenment tap, which let me scry one again. Oh, I'll keep it. 
We're not, we're not playing on curve, guys. This sucks. Pass. All right, untap. Just my draw. Tap this to activate Signet. We're gonna play Harmonic Prodigy. Is that good? Uh huh. Okay, then we'll play Rakdos Carnarium. Bounce this. Um, and then say go. Keep draw. Nine two. Play a swamp. Uh, tap three with the red for face breaker. Face breaker yes. good. And pass. All right. Resolve Sylvan Library. Um, let's do it like this. I will draw a card. No, not that one. What the hell? Okay. That one. That's the card I want. All right. Um, play Land of War Wastes. I'm gonna go lose one life to add green from Land of War Wastes. I am going to play Gaia's Touch. I can play one additional land each turn as long as that land is a forest, his forest. Um, and I can sacrifice it to add green green to my mana pool. Uh, I can play, it can be played as, okay, I can play it as, um, add one white to my mana pool. I'm going to play Faith Healer. I can sacrifice an enchantment to gain life equal to that sacrifice enchantment's cost, or CMC rather. Go ahead. Untap, upkeep, and draw stuff. Here is a Path of Ancestry tap, tap for four. Here's Commodore Guff, tick him up one. We are gonna make a 1-1 one, one wizard that can tap to add red to my mana pool that can only be spent to cast Planeswalker spells. Okay. Pass. Untap. Draw. Oh, hi, hi, hi. How much mana do you need for Primal Surge again? 10. 10? And presently, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay. hypothetically 8. What, what did your Guffs minus do again? Minus 3, I'll deal X damage to each opponent and I'll draw X cards. Or X is the Planeswalkers I have. Okay. Play a Mountain. Play Judah. There you go. Um, pass. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's just the 1-1? One, one? Yeah. We'll, we'll just attack for 1. Pressure for 1. Understood, officer. Might as well. Okay, pass. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna play... Spectral. Spine Rock... Spine... Spine Rock Redoll. Okay. Highway, I believe it's 4. Highway 4. And then you can pay a red... And play the exile card. Uh, exile card without paying its mana cost. Is an opponent was dealt seven or more damage this turn. And then I'm going to start by tapping four. I'm gonna bring Prosper up. He's here. Uh, air combat. Yeah. Swing at you for two. Has been us. Two. I take two. You get a treasure, right? Yep. I get a treasure token. Treasure token. Enter post combat. Prosper trigger. Well, that's end step. End oh, step. But and yeah. end step. Yeah. Prosper trick. That's a Bajuka Bob. Yeah, nice. All set? Yep. All right. Untap, upkeep. Sylvan Library. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Kelvin. Hey, I'm going to do it. No balls. I'm just going to take one. Four? One. Oh, you're just taking one card. Um. Do that, do this, play an RC, pass the turn. That was pretty good. I mean, it was only 20. Was good. Or, yeah. All right, we're gonna untap, upkeep, draw step. We are going to tap for one, two, filter through that. Here's an island. I'm going to play the Magical Gathering card, to Fairy who slows the sunset. Mm. I'm going to tick him up, up to five. That gains me two life. And I'm gonna untap a land, an yeah. artifact, and a creature. That's pretty there good. We are. Here comes another walker. Uh, do we have another walker at this moment? Uh... If you don't, I'm scared. Hmm? What else do you have in your hand? We have cards, that's it. <laughs> We're gonna tap for one, two, three, four. We don't have enough mana for that Calvin. That can't tap for anything that's not a planeswalker. Therefore, we're just going to tick this up. Make another one. We're gonna make another guy. That's pretty cool. I guess we're gonna tap for. Oh man, fuck this guy! Fucking borrow signet of all signets of all signets that ever signeted in my, in my fucking asshole. Oh, um, whoa! One, two, three. I'm gonna save in the moment. Okay, I'm gonna take an extra turn, but I don't untap. Sure. Okay. Cool. On this extra turn, 
uh, this guy is this guy's gonna trigger to put a counter on here. Yep. Ta -da. You mean at the end step? At the end step. At the end step, yeah, that one. And then on top of keep draw. We are going to tick up to fairy on this new turn. Uh, there's no way we can get like actually get mana into that, which sucks ass. Uh, but we get to untap a land, and we have floated a red for Planeswalkers. Okay? Yeah. Uh, and then we are going to another red for Planeswalkers. Mm -hmm. Another red for Planeswalkers, right? So Chandra. Green red. Uh, and then we're going to do, we're going to float it through there. We're going to keep five mana total. A white in the mana pool. Got it. We are going to play Ral Zarek. Okay. The guy. Ral Zarek, the guy. Give me a die. That. <laughs> Ral Zarek, the guy, is going to tick up. I'm going to tick and untap that guy, and I'm going to tap another guy. I am going to tap, I don't fucking know, Judith, I guess. Sure. It's fine. Um, and then we are going to tap that for blue and use the other one in order to cast Experimental Augury. Proliferate. Uh, I get to proliferate, but I also get to look at the top three cards in my library. Two lands exist. Put one into my hand, and the rest on the bottom. And then we are going to still tick him up. Because mm -hmm. as much as I'd like to have a land, a blocker seems pretty good. Here you go. There we are, and then we're gonna move to end step. Proliferate. Uh, we'll just put a counter on a guy. Okay. Ral Zarek is in ultimate, so. Okay. There we go, pass turn. So is Teferi. What does his, his do? Teferi gives me that emblem that lets me untap with you. Uh, Ral Zarek's ultimate is foot five coins, take an extra turn for each heads. Oh, That's not good. No. Ral's probably a little scarier, but Teferi's. I mean, for what it's right. worth, I think we have enough creatures between all of us to at least take them out of ultimate. Yeah. That's but. the plan. Untap, upkeep, draw. Well, we'll play this mountain. Um, let's start with a desperate ritual. Okay. Three red to my mana pool. And we're going to get a 2-2 two, two, uh, imp that when it dies, deal damage to each opponent. But yeah, we get two. Thank you. Um, so we have three red off this. Um, use a red, cast Blazing Volley. We're going to choose to give this thing a touch and lifelink and make a 2-2. Two -two. And that's going to deal a damage with death touch to each creature. Yep. Except mine. Except his. One, two, three, so, four, and I'm going to end up five, gaining... Six, seven. Seven? seven? Yeah. So go to 47. Okay. Activate the signal for black and red. We're going to cast Plum the Forbidden. Uh, trigger, uh, we're gonna make two more guys. As an additional cost? We do have to, so we won't have the... You won't have all the guys. But we're gonna sack three guys and you're all gonna take six. So we're gonna end up with two guys after. Mm -hmm. But we draw four. And lose four. And lose four. That's just one prowess trigger, additional for what that's worth. Wow, that was a, that was a poopy draw, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, go to combat. Uh, so this is gonna come in for four. Yeah, uh, different deck called off. Yeah, three. Yeah. Okay. Pass the turn. Alright. Uh, Keep. And draw. Let me play the bog for me. Plan for turn. Who are you gonna bog? Him. I don't think it's a good one. Yeah. Like you might as well, but he yeah. comes in tapped. Yeah. I'm gonna tap for three. Two and three. It's time to spin. Cut. Wheel. Wheel. Wheel of Fortune. Oh. Um. Yeah. Do you have a response? No. Do you? What the fuck. That's a fucking Wheel of Fortune. Right. I'm not emotionally prepared for this. I don't have a response. I think I'm fine with it because I just drew like four lands. <laughs> so. Every I would day. like not what every game every game 
Primal Surge. <laughs> Was are, are you, oh, oh, you're discarding it? He has to discard Primal Switch. Oof. Yeah. Oh well. Before I draw, I do have to, instead of discarding this, reveal Nexus of Fate and shuffle it into my library. Oh. And then I pass the turn. All right. On top of keep the Sylvan Library. Um, we will just draw one. And then play a Brushland. I do have two black. I have to lose life for it though. That's fine. I kind of have to. Cruelty of Gix. What's that do? Um, I'm gonna read ahead to chapter two. I'm gonna search my library for a card, put that in card in my hand, then shuffle. I lose three life. A, a regrowth, so you can get primal surgery. <laughs> Basically, I mean, I mean, yeah. I actually don't know what I have. I know I have ways to like recur it. Um, I just don't remember all my options. Um, so I need to look at my deck. Yes. What are you counting over here? What are you counting? My head's breaking. Your head's breaking? Mm -hmm. Why? So what we are going to grab is the soul ring. And it's on the second saga? Well, I guess I don't have to reveal it. Sure. But, but I'm going to play it, so. And you're on the second part? Yes. Okay. Shuffle that up, put that in, play the soul ring, play the elixir. Yep. Go ahead. All right, do your worst, Calvin. On tap, up to you. Draw stuff. Foreign plane and interplane and beacon is our land for turns. And whenever we cast a planeswalker spell, we are going to gain one life. We are going to tap for uh, one, two, fuck that guy. Uh, but the important part, well, yeah, that four second gives a white, island gives a blue. Uh, doesn't super matter. We're going to cast Hicker Moon Gauntlet. What's that do again? Hicker Moon Gauntlet is a three drop artifact that gives all planeswalkers plane control two activated abilities. One, zero, proliferate. And the other one is minus 12 to hand to turn after this one. Right, right, but they can all proliferate and you're... Okay, so we're safe. And after that, uh, whenever I cast a non-creature spell, choose a counter on target permanent. Put an additional counter of that kind on that permanent. After you cast the spell? Whenever I cast a non-creature spell, I can increase a counter on something by one. At this step, we are going to... Uh... Ooh. Guff is going to do the proliferate. Yep. Yep. So that's gonna, right? Guff's gonna, yeah, we have to do Guff to proliferate. If you have stuff, you have stuff. So this is gonna go to four, and then this is gonna go to four, right? Mm -hmm. And then here, we're gonna tap for three, we're gonna cast a Fairy Time Raveler. Ew. Uh, do I have a response to that? Hmm. Uh, before you have a response, I had to declare my targets. Trigger this, counter here. Sure. Um... And also, cast in a Planeswalker, Jaya's Phoenix wants to enter the battlefield. Respond to the Jaya. Like, before it enters? Yes. Okay. Tap this for black red. We're gonna cast a Deadly Dispute. That's gonna trigger Judith. We're gonna make two guys. As an additional cost, we're gonna sack a guy, though. Um, so you're all gonna lose two. And then I'm gonna go back up to three of these. And then I get a treasure. Two. Um, go ahead. Fairy Time Reveler enters the battlefield. No one can cast spells in my turn. Uh, Jaya's Phoenix is also on the battlefield. Uh, if it deals combat damage to a player, the next loyalty ability I activate with Planeswalker Control uh, does it twice. Uh, oh boy. Teferi is going to uh, zero, and Teferi is going to zero. So six, six, so you're not seven, planning to get to 12. five, okay. move to combat, uh, Iden, I'm gonna hit you in the air for three. Uh, yeah, yeah. 40. Next loyalty ability of the planeswalker I activate, activates twice. Minus seven for Eric. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, gonna flip five coins twice. Okay. Each heads on. is an extra turn. Do we wanna just roll dice? Do we want to even continue? I mean... That's the actual question. Yes. Like we can, I will roll dice for this. Yes. Um, I'm cool with continuing. But like, I have a Terry if... Time Raveler in play. Right. I have to, Technically, I'm not actually. No, yeah, I know. We should just because all no, on all those turns, we're just gonna keep proliferating and take more turns. Oh, I know. Yeah, so we should. Yeah, yeah. Because he can keep taking. Like, yeah. yeah How many turns are you gonna get? Actually, we can start there. Um, I mean, he does it twice. This is the twice. Wait, all, the... all evens or all odds? All evens. All evens. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five, four. I only got three. So. Yeah, but I still think oh, no, no, no. Three, three extra turns, but you're proliferating every single extra turn. Like, let's 
right, for what it's worth, let's show one loop of this, right? For everyone at home, we, we're gonna take our first extra turn of the two. Ralz Eric's in the bin. This untaps, right? And I guess Commodore Guff still does fucking stuff, so we're gonna put this counter on Teferi. This untaps, first of three extra turns of keep draw. See, the problem is I don't actually have to try and activate extra turn abilities right now. I can go to activate an extra turn ability on my next turn. Or my, or my last turn, right? Yeah. So what I can do from here is let's play Zorius Gilgate tap, that's the least amount of work. Um, and then we're going to add one, two, three, four. Here's a Planeswalker, it's Narsa. It's a non-creature spell, this goes up. Yeah. Um, and then Teferi can tick up to untap these two guys, yeah. hypothetically. Uh, Guff can tick up to get me even more mana for any Planeswalkers I find, right? And then Narset gets to just tick up to add another color. So we have access to fucking whatever. Here's this. It's Duretti, Scrap Savant. I think he's got it. And it, that's yeah. gonna add another counter here. He still has two more turns. We still have anything. two more turns before anything else. Yeah. And he's gonna draw cards and play cards. Yeah. yeah. That's gonna proliferate. That's so like the, uh, the what, what's the what like obviously we see how you're taking turns but like just for the Event, just for the camera how are you gonna kill us? Eventually I can I'm likely to reach a critical mass of planeswalkers such that I can just keep on taking extra turns. Especially since I can use Jai's Phoenix to actually make it two turns. And then from yeah then their guff either kills you or I draw my deck with yeah. gems. Yeah. Um, well, that was close. I did have the win in my hand. So uh, after that wheel. Yeah. Well let me see. So Mana Geyser, Demonic Tutor, a Storm Killing Artist. Oh yeah. We got we get the Haze of Rage. We do the thing. Um, the Haze of Rage combo is really good with Storm Killing Artist and her because you just make a ton of two twos. It either comes back to you and you swing with them all, or you board wipe and kill everybody. Oh. Even with the wheel, I would not have won. Based on what I drew from the wheel, it was not even going to be close. So like the wheel, the wheel was. Awesome. I needed I needed another turn. Which was, I was not gonna get. I, Me uh, losing Frostbird when I did hurt, because like, yeah. if I didn't, it would have been fine. I, I, uh, yeah. I, I, my original plan was that Nexus of Fate, but I wasn't planning on like, going winning, off like that. Doing a win, it was, alright, and now I can in, try and interact when they try and win. And then the wheel happened, and I'm looking at my fucking hands, it's like, on tap land, the fairy, and Nickermoon gone. Like that. <laughs> that was really good. Ikramun Gauntlet is saucy. What does this now set do again? I forget. And then Duray ticks up two, um, and I discard two cards. Things. <laughs> okay. And I draw two cards, and then I move to the next turn, which eventually lets me cast Triumphant Reckoning, which puts all of these planes. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> yeah, we get it. So. It's on its way to pizza. We're going to have pizza. Yeah. I hope you guys have a great Thank night. Thank you guys for joining us. But we are out of here. Calvin wants to show off all his toys, but he can't. I... I did you the did. respectful thing there. Which oh was, no, you did. You absolutely do did. Do we just fucking scoop here, guys? I mean, that was a that was what a thirty-five minute game, maybe right? Less.